what would it take for you to move not all the way over there, just one line, just one line? I guess if they told me how many genders specifically there were, I can't think of anything that would change my opinion, I guess. But you got some friends going. Oh, you're giving me the finger? Hi. I'm standing in front of the social work building. I'm harming individuals by asking that question. Well, you want to come down and have a conversation about it? Why do you want to come down and have a conversation? Oh. <laughs> okay, so what would it take for you to move to the strongly agree. In this man's class, after a long, controversial 10 weeks of lectures, this giant auditorium on the final day, he posed a question to students. He says, if anybody has disagreed with anything I've said over the last 10 weeks, come down and sit in this chair in a spotlight in the middle of the auditorium. Here's a platform, tell me to my face. Which I'm, I'm glad, I, I was the only one who walked down and you gave me an A. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi, I'm so curious about what's um, what's happening out here. Oh, you wanna you? Uh, it's a critical thinking game where we take a look at claims okay. and you step on a line. You want to play? Well, um, you want to watch the game played? Well, uh, we were watching from up there actually because we actually we have we happen to see the sign from up in the School of Social Work, which is on the sixth floor. And some of our trans students saw the statement, um, there are only two genders. Well, thanks for coming down to talk. Uh, it was pretty activating and upsetting, not knowing the context. We thought it was sort of a statement that was being made, um, but not, not a thought exercise necessarily. Would you like to see how the game is played? No. 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 I think we is it something that, that should yeah. be a game, though? Mm, an exercise? You want to you want to use the uh, non you want to use defund the police as one? Well, just thinking about what it looks like. Yeah. What does it look like to, other, to, to see like community. one, two, three, four, five, five white men with a sign that says there's only two genders? It, you could have been like the Westboro Baptist Church girl. What is white? Why did you identify us on the base of our race? Well, are you the best people to be hosting that that dialogue? About no, but you representative of that community. Okay, but I asked you a question. Why did you identify me and these people on the it's basis like of their exactly race? What it looks like, right? Kind of like the activating, triggering aspect of it all. So you think that it's ex morally acceptable to identify people on the basis of their race? Um, it's not a moral question. It's a matter of like the fact. It's that just about power and privilege. Yeah. yeah, and and identity and representation, right? So if you have been queer folks out here asking those kinds of questions and there was well, how do you know we're not queer um that's true i don't know but there's not um sort of a representative holistic inclusive feeling especially from up on high we're looking down and we see this statement being made we're curious about it we're also just worried about the harm being done to passers-by what what is the harm statement. so there are people, the who went, they, people who went home because Today, it was so yeah. triggering and we had some students so i think the, the end result is there you know you're on film right that is totally fine. Okay. There are real people who are really hurt by the statements. So what were they hurt about? Question that. Because that's not how they identify, and so it seems like a really triggering statement to just say there are two genders, if that's not been your experience. So it's very harmful and very hurtful, and I just, there's human lives that were affected, so I think that's the message we're trying to send, is to maybe consider the questions that you're asking or posing before you begin your thought experiment. Are you, are you curious about, like, what we're bringing to you at all, or do you have... I'm thinking about... Uh, I'm extremely curious and I'm extremely respectful. I genuinely re respect the fact that you came as opposed to seven or eight of you giving me the middle finger and saying fuck you to me. So yeah, so, what you so. If what do you gain from this? Like what is your reason that you just want to cause trouble or like, <clears throat> like why are you here? So um, I'm fascinated, I do street epistemology and I'm fascinated if the people, epistemology is uh, from the Greek, basically how you know what you think. Okay, so street epistemology is taking it out of the university and bringing it into the street. So I'm very curious. Okay, like a sidewalk or a. Uh, this is like campus. 20 year old. This is like street epistemology. You're doing this on the port. Okay, if you don't like the word uh, street, you can call it uh, s plaza epistemology. Or whatever. But the idea is you take it out of the university and you see if the reasons that people have 
for things justify their confidence in it. So this is a confidence scale. We can do this with any claim you want. We can do this with a mayor of the city. We can do this with uh, should the United States be funding uh, uh, Ukraine? Uh, I think it's $800 billion. Should the United States, should, is it more important to control inflation or employment? And we put people on a spectrum. They start on, let me just explain again. So you asked, so I'll tell you. So what, what am I going to do? I think what we're just saying is, the, you know, and I think those questions are thought provoking and important questions um, to ask folks in our community. I think what we were struck by was the statement on the board that it wasn't a question and that there was no oh. context clues for folks, especially trans folks, to know that this was not your belief, would, that this is more of a thought experience. Okay. Would you be more comfortable if it was a question? Like if I put a question mark? Sure. Okay, I'm more than happy to put a question at a the question end. A question is a question and not a statement. Right? More than happy to... Some type of warning or a, a statement of like what you're doing on another board so people can walk by and like try and understand that. Mm -hmm. Because from afar it looks... This is a thought experiment. Yeah. This is, this is yeah. what we're asking people... I'm more than happy to do that. And then that way it can kind of... If, if we... I'm more than happy to do that. I only have one board, but I'm more than happy to put on this is a thought experiment and put a question mark. Right if I put a question mark, I could, I don't know, I'm worried that people wouldn't be able to see it, but I'm more than happy to, if so if I put a question mark at the end and then I put another one, it's not really, it is a thought experiment, but, but it's more of an exercise slash game starts thought experiment. If I put that on the end, would all of the uh, uh, concern vaporize? Uh, no, probably not because we're talking about real humans yeah. with their lived experience and their positionality, their identities, you know, and sort of, we, I might have a very different um, personal feeling walking by because it doesn't target my identity specifically. So we're just sort of here to sort of advocate and um, elevate who might be harmed by a statement. Like what do you mean that? by harmed? Harmed? Yeah. Um, well, people who have been like historically and currently oppressed, right, by dominant systems, patriarchy, whiteness, uh, masculinity, all of the systems that harm people who don't fit within those sort of more rigid. That's why you want a question and not a statement. Can I also ask? Like, no, let me just, I just want an answer. Is that that's why you want a question, not a statement? Um, I think a question is an invitation. Right. More than happy to put make it a question. Participate in this conversation. It's More than happy to do that. You know, you're representing, you know, with your identity, a belief, perhaps when it's, especially when it's a statement. And so what it looks like is you're out here saying there are two genders, and then anyone who doesn't fall within those two sort of binary boxes. I'm more than happy to do that. That's where the harm comes from. More than happy to say this is a thought experiment. No, let me just let me just finish. More than happy to do that. But it seems that there's. If I did that, that would not be enough. Um, you might be. You might. Have well, no, no, I just. No, I didn't want. I just. Well, well, just. I might not be the person. To, you know. Again, I think asking folks who hold those identities, sort of, if that is enough. So asking queer students, asking trans students, asking gay students. If you're asking about race or poverty or religion of people who are part of those groups can really inform you better than i can you wanted to say i wanted to hear her through no i get it and i'm just wondering like are any of you all like trained professionals in trauma-informed care like if a transgender individual were to come to the space and participate and then there was a triggering response where they needed emotional support like are you ready to support that because this conversation can bring up a lot of emotions and the people that are kind of working within it could be really triggered but if you're not if no one's there as like an advocate or support it could be pretty detrimental to the community you're asking so i just want to like frame that if you're not having like an advocate there as someone that can like be an emotional support or regulation for the people that are potentially harmed or triggered in this conversation whether they're participating or not like that's a potential thing to think about and could be a flaw in the system because you need to have someone to be able to support that emotionally, mentally, and for people's trauma. So if you're not, it's kind of like these people might leave and feel like 
without any support or any understanding of what they just went through. So yeah, just to know, think that. And we know people with, who are in the gender minority experience higher rates of suicidal ideation, higher rates of anxiety and depression, and like they're seeing messages like this all throughout their lives. And so campus is supposed to be a safe space where everyone can exist freely in their own identities and who they are and be learning and be talking about these really, really important things within our culture and society. And by walking through this community, remember that we care about that should be in class today, learning about how to take care of their community and how to support marginalized individuals like themselves and others can't participate today mm -hmm. because they saw that message. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why that's what we mean by harm. Yeah. And honestly, I don't even think adding a question mark is enough. I think it should be more of what is your perspective on gender identity? because then you're opening up the question, or gender in general, right? Because we know that it's not just about identity, it's about who that person is. And and by by really framing it in the binary, that's where there's harm. Can I put in like my two cents as a non-binary person? Please, please. Yes. Cool. I am gender non-conforming. I use they, them pronouns. Do you know what that means? I believe so, yes. Are you aware of like the theory of social constructionism? Yes. So. I'm a, I'm a gender studies scholar. Yeah. So I'm much younger than you. These are all, you know, this is all very new. I understand. Like my parents are boomers. They're in their 60s. They've had a really hard time understanding. So I've had to explain this to a lot of people in your generation. So you're aware of social constructionism. You're aware of gender as a social construct. When you say there are only two genders, those two genders are just social constructs that we made up from birth. You are assigned a male at birth because you have a penis. I'm assuming mm. you present as male. Do you identify as male? I, I, are you asking if I identify as male? Uh, I identify as male. Because you are assigned a male at birth. You're, are you cis? I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not sure where you're going with this. I'm trying. I'm trying to understand where you're going. That the idea of there being only two genders is a social construct because we have this idea of being assigned, assigned female at birth, assigned male at birth. Now, I'm non-binary, that's something that I have learned about myself over the last six, seven years. After I was a teenager, I was learned about sociology, I learned about gender as a social contract, and I realized that I don't fit into the box of just a cis woman. Okay, my gender is completely whatever I feel like in the moment. I'm not just one solid thing. Sexuality, gender, these are all social constructs that we've created within our society, our binary society, where we've decided there's only male or female, so many people don't fit into that. And like, why do you feel like you're a man? Because you've been socialized to believe these things are associated with being a man. These things are associated with being a woman. There's only two boxes, but you don't have to conform to that. That's just what society has told you from birth. Someone said, a doctor said, this person has a penis. I'm gonna assume that they have to be a man and fit into this box their whole life. But why? That's just. I, I would love to hear other voices if you wanted to I don't say think something. Engaging in this debate feels useful. Do you feel that this is a debate? That's your response. <laughs> when you say I want to hear from everyone else. No, I do want to. I, I didn't actually care. I, here with no, you. I listened and I'm processing. <laughs> would you like me to engage her? I want to hear from him. You want to hear from him? I want to know. I want to hear from him. Okay. Do you have anything to say? No. I just want to make sure, so this is, this is what I want. I don't want, the reason that I, I'm more than happy to engage you. The reason that I said that is you have how many people here? 15, I'm guessing. No, but let me finish. The reason I said that is because I don't want you to walk away and someone to say, I, you didn't give me a chance to talk. So I didn't give her a chance to talk before, but that's only because I was listening to what you were going to say. And I realized that the class is here on a lot of time. And the reason that I switched from what she had, and I'm more than happy to listen to her, is because I don't want people. Sorry, it's, I to you. They just told you their pronouns and their lived experience. And okay, then I. Okay, so instead of getting. Okay, so this individual just told me that, and I'm trying to be reasonable. And I think it's better to have a conversation than for you guys to give me the finger and yell, fuck you. So you wanted to say something, go ahead. It's already been, you, so the I think it's maybe important to address that she did, like just address the, you just addressed, you just called this person a Okay. And they just told you their gender was Okay, men. well, I apologize that's, and I say the they. Harm, that's the harm being done that we were talking about. Do you accept my apology? Okay. It's, it's the generation, it's a generational, you know, education. If you educate. Okay, so. 
I learned. That's great. I, I love that, and I accept That's your apology. Uh, so isn't it better to have a conversation about this than to scream at someone from the rooftop? Oh, I don't know who... I, I, I certainly didn't scream at you from the rooftop. Did any of you guys scream? Yeah, oh, I yeah, did. yeah. yeah. So you guys were screaming and yelling fuck you to me and giving me the finger. We were just saying, please go away, you're not welcome. No, I said fuck you. I think you. I said Okay. <laughs> Okay, so is so. Can I just continue the conversation? My goal is to disrupt I mean, this. No. Any more harm to so. Yeah. Okay, so I, I understand that you believe on. Um, I can't remember where that, over there she moved, but, I understand that you you believe this stuff, and we live in a democracy, and other people don't have those beliefs, and I want to ask people if the reasons they have for their beliefs are justified, and this is that experiment. And your thought experiment, we don't. We actually have to go. We don't, we're not part of the thought experiment. We're all social workers and we saw this harm being done and we just wanted to come here with curiosity and also some, some information. And do you feel that you've spoken? Do you feel that anybody, if anybody else has something to say that, that you, you haven't had an opportunity to speak? Do you feel like you've learned anything or taken but, it? But that doesn't answer my question. I just ask if anybody else has, well, would like to yeah, speak. Yeah. If you'd like to speak, I'm standing here. Okay. But I think to Joel's point, yeah, we hope that this was informative and helpful. And sorry if saying fuck you hurt your feelings. And um, no, it didn't hurt my feelings. But I'm glad because our student who you know who was hurt, we're, we're worried about them and potentially many many others. And so that's why we came down to talk to you, just because we have a personal connection. Well, I'm glad. Isn't it better to have a conversation with someone than to? Yes. I mean, isn't that what the whole but enterprise should be about? It's not safe for everybody to have that conversation. Sometimes it's hard right. to just have a simple it's not conversation. Safe. Yeah. Especially when you're doing it like every fucking day of your yeah. life. Yeah. <laughs> this is something we're fighting for and advocating for. This is our job and what we care about, what we're passionate about. So sometimes it's hard to keep all those emotions in when we see someone that we care about being harmed. And do you think that the best way for people to understand, what, what, what is the best way for people to understand your point of view? this right now showing up thank you yeah oh what uh, oh advocating advocating for the people that may feel like they don't have a voice okay so the people who watch this because this is being videoed do you think that the people who watch this who don't agree with you as a result of having watched this will then agree with you i'm not asking them to agree with me but don't you want to facilitate social change I'm asking you to have a different perspective to understand where we're coming from because we're trying we came down here to try and understand where you're coming from. Did you? I don't think that anyone Did you really though? To decide if this is Okay, but yeah, you have to please be honest with me. Is that really why you came down to understand? Oh uh, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. We were, we were very okay, and and what what did you what is your understanding of why I'm doing this? You guys care about how you're It's not impact. What, what, I'm sorry, what, I haven't heard from you. What is it? It's not. I just want to tell you, we don't care about your thought experiment. We care about the human. The, the, impact. the yeah. impact that it's uh-huh. having on. Okay, so you didn't come down to understand why I'm doing this then. We came, to, we came down here to tell you like what you're doing is farming others. Is right, so you didn't come down to understand. That's why I asked you to please be honest. I, you, be honest. I really, uh, truly do want to understand why this even just exists. Just because we didn't want to know how your game works doesn't mean we weren't coming down here. To so what is it that you understand for why I'm doing this? If you said you came down to understand why am I doing this? No, no. This, no, no, but this is, you've made a claim. You've made, you've made a claim. Right. This is what? Maybe you'll watch the video and, and have some... What do you think the result of people watching this video will going to be? What is your intent? What is the impact it's having? That's all right. What harm is being done? 